the Radio Winchcombe. It's time for my next guest on the show today. So let's say hello to Call Me Loop. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm a bit sleepy. You're the first person I've spoken <laughs> to, so I'm a bit groggy. <laughs> first of all, I've got to ask, uh, tell us a little bit about the name. Where did Call Me, uh, Call Me Loop come from? Um, well, my mum calls me Loops, basically. <laughs> my name's Georgia. I know, she gets a shout out in an interview, but when people ask me about my name, she loves it. But she, my name's Georgia. She started calling me Georgie Lou, which became Loopy Lou somehow, and then that became Loop. So she's called me Loops for like years and years and years. So I, I was Loop for until, I was just Loop until about a month or two ago. And then just basically realised that there were quite a few Loops out there, and I, there was a bit of confusion on Spotify and stuff, so I decided to... Um, change it to Call Me Loop, which is what my my socials were anyway. So, well, I've got to say, yeah. um, I, I was obviously I was listening to Spotify last week, and then uh, Love the Lie uh, came on, and yeah. I was like, oh my god, this is the most catchy pop song I have heard in a very <laughs> long time. And, and I, I I checked out the artist because I wasn't sure who it was, and then I listened to loads of your stuff, and I've just fallen in love. The music is uh, incredible. Thank you so much. Are thank you happy you, with the response yeah. you've had? Oh, I'm like over the moon. I can't really believe it. Like Give and Take kind of, which came out in January, that was the first one that really kind of took off. And then Love the Lie. So, I mean, it's been out less than a week and it's just, it's, I, I'm so, so, so grateful for all the support. It's amazing. And yeah, so, very excited. So being a singer, was that something that you, you always wanted to be? Did you know that growing up, you know, I want to be a singer? Yeah, literally. It's, I've never had any other backup plan. It was so funny. I went back to my mum's, um, my, well, my parents, um, like a year ago to do some clearing out and I came across so many lyric books like I've been yeah. writing songs from like five and there's pictures that I've drawn of like future me which is like me on stage with a microphone I honestly literally always just wanted to be a pop star I never really grew out of it and obviously you've got shows like X Factor The Voice have you ever been tempted to, to go on those shows for the exposure or are you enjoying kind of working your way up because you're, you're doing incredibly well well I actually did try when I was about 15 Oh, okay. Um, and didn't get didn't get far at all. I got through one of the pre rounds. I didn't even get to um, get get onto telly, which is probably for the best, actually. To be honest, <laughs> like, I was, yeah. I was, yeah, I was really young. I had no, like, I was so terrified. I used to have really, really bad stage fright. So I mean, I don't blame them to be honest. And I'm so that was definitely like fate saying, no, 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 this is not for you. Um, and I wouldn't now. I wouldn't know. Like yeah. I've definitely because I like like I say, I write my song, my own songs and things, and I get people are doing that now a bit more on a show, I guess, but. No, like my mum was always like, no, Georgia, X Factor is not for you. And you do it your own way. And she was right. And <sighs> you just said about writing uh, material. So when it comes to the writing process, what do you use uh, for material? And what do you look to? Is it, is it things in your own life? How does, that, how does that work for you? Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, I literally can't like, write a song unless it's about me, basically. I mean, I've, but occasionally, you know, if I'm not... I mean... I, I would say what's so cheesy but what's bad for your heart is good for your art which is so true like I write the best songs and I rock hard oh sorry can I say that when I'm angry <laughs> <laughs> or um, or sad or you know like when I'm happy the songs yeah. just don't really come um, but yeah no I write about relationships mostly about boys as you can probably tell from my songs <laughs> um, and um, and then also like person, like family relationships friends professional relationships I just find that's the easiest that just comes most naturally naturally for me but yeah my songs are usually pretty specific like and they're usually about boys and I'll play them to my friends like when I've written them when I've got a demo back and they'll be like no you can't put this out <laughs> so so um, in regards yeah. to uh, Love the Light is that part of, of an upcoming album? Uh, no it's just I don't think so at the moment I'm just doing it single by single yeah. I do think I'm going to put out an EP at, towards the end of the year but um, I think it's going to be all new stuff because I've basically got like a bit of a concept in mind for it. And there's obviously I'm writing songs like every week. And if you're only putting out a few a year, there's loads that I love that don't get to see the light of day. So I've got this idea for an EP um, that will be probably five tracks, but I don't think it'll be none of the songs that are already out are going to be on it. Um, but you, I don't know, maybe next year when an album comes out, Love to Lie and Give and Take and stuff will be on it. We'll see, unless I write loads more better songs. <laughs> so I've come up with a little game to get to know you better, and it's called In The Loop. So we're going to give you uh, two options, <laughs> and you have to give us what you prefer out of the two options. Okay. So the first one is Beyonce or Rihanna? Rihanna. I love Ooh. Beyonce, but Rihanna. I thought you were going to say Beyonce. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, uh, I'm such a Rihanna fan. X Factor or Strictly Come Dancing? Oh, God. Probably Strictly. 
It Sweet. would have been X Factor at any time up until about the last two years, but now I've started watching Strictly. Uh, cider or beer? Cider. I don't really like either, but it's fruity cider. <laughs> uh, glamping or a posh hotel? Oh, so you like? Okay. Would you like camping, or you prefer right? You know, I want a nice hotel instead. Depends. Sometimes I want to get in the mix of it, but sometimes uh, you're but lost yeah, on that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Glamping. Mixture. Glamping. So, what else have we got for you now? Facebook or Twitter? Oh, Facebook probably just because. Oh no, Facebook, because I can keep up to date with all my mates. My friends aren't really on Twitter. And then the last one is Primark or Topshop? <laughs> Topshop. I love Primark, <laughs> but I've, I've been in there for years. That was, the, that was prime when I was at uni, but um, no, Topshop now. I haven't played Topshop. So the single is out now, so people can buy that. That's right, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it came out on Friday. And have you got any upcoming projects in regards to touring that you can tell us about? Um, yeah, I'm playing some festivals this summer, which will be very, which I'm very excited about. I'm playing um, one called El Dorado, one called um, uh, Lee Fest presents Neverworld. I'm playing Rise, which is the newly branded Lee Festival in Chelmsford, which I'm super excited about um, on the Friday. And then I'm playing for any Belfast people. I'm playing one called Belfast Vital in August, which will be great. <laughs> wow, it's been absolutely amazing. You uh, amazing having you on the show. Thank you so much. Like I said, I am in love with the single, and we're going to play it right now. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you so much for your support. And we'd love to have you back on the show uh, when you've got some more that you're uh, promoting. It'd be amazing. Yes, please. Thank <laughs> you very much. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much. Thanks. Take care.